there! Before the study begins, please do note I do not have any form of Patreon with Nation Cartoons. So even though before the trailer has publicly released, some people do have the episode, I personally don't. Though excitement for the new episode here is fully appreciated and encouraged, any spoilers for an episode or trailer that has not been released yet may be deleted or blocked from the channel permanently. As spoilers ruin the experience for most people, the current leak situation regarding Dispatch Cup All Stars, etc. Thank you for understanding and enjoy the video! Welcome to another video everyone, my name is Alexa and today this video will be the trailer analysis for Dispatcher Camp All-Stars episode 14. Before this begins, a few things to note. The background footage is not owned by me, it is owned by Omnition Cartoons. Though this is my personal analysis slash opinion, if you have different, that is completely fine. For this trailer analysis, I was leaked the elimination through my comments multiple times. <laughs> Therefore, I will not be discussing the usual who's going next section or discussing at any point relating to the elimination, as again, to avoid spoilers. I have not been spoiled for anything else in this episode, though, meaning the sections for this video will be the trailer analysis and the conclusion. Without further delay, the first section of the video can begin the trailer analysis. The things we do for money. The episode opens up to Rhea and Allie, with Rhea coming up to Allie with Allie and Cher, while Rhea probably gives some form of advice. Not genuine likely, just to get her vote on her side. I mean, it is 4 versus 4, it also expands on the interaction the two had in episode 12. Maybe they even talk some strategy here, after the advice. I'm honestly really interested and excited for this interaction. It'll probably even lead to Allie more so considering flipping on the heroes maybe? And along with her getting over the haters arc, maybe she can also have more focus? Anyway, next we see Rhea and Alec looking nervous, shocked, and trying to make an excuse. This means that Aiden went on with this stupid plan. I will literally bet money this falls flat on his face. The only reason that these two are concerned is Connor's reaction, which in the trailer itself seems like a closed off, more keep it inside type reaction. Hmm, not personally what I expected. Wonder how this will play out. But moving to Gabby and Grant, I think the two would go pick some apples. After the Ellery expose scene to allow themselves to talk about it while having fun as friends, yeah. no clue how they fell off the tree if they did. Maybe they were just picking from the bottom of the apple tree and Gabby just fell or something. Anyway, Ellery is here to talk to them about the expose and about the alliance standing. I mean, there's a reason. The entire villain alliance is here, but Gabby and Gret are annoyed with this as they quite frankly did not want to see them at the time. Don't think they're annoyed with the fact they kissed because they won't care. Interested to see the interactions though. On to Alec and Connor, maybe after it's exposed about Alaria, Alec is trying to bring up the subject and explain himself to apologize for strategy reasons as he doesn't want the target from Connor on his back. But also remembering his old friendship with Connor and partially caring about that, Connor instantly looks away to dodge the subject, not wanting to really discuss it. I am also expected the reaction to be much more severe, a lot more of a bang, but he seems to just be taking it. Feels off as JK and Aiden agree because they're literally spying on him. Don't know why or when Aiden recruited Drake, maybe next to recruit Ali at this point. Anyway, the two are probably spying to check if Connor is alright from the Alaria expose. What Alec is trying to tell him, the works. Aiden and Jake seem to be both concerned and confused at what they heard. They probably didn't expect Alec to apologize about this all, and Aiden is thinking if Alec was really that bad of a person, especially since he heard the previous night with Alec's regrets. Since Jake has a serious look in his eye and nods the next scene, my guess is he's telling Aiden he's wrong about Alec, and he still is a horrible person, and as Aiden repeats it, he nods. I am partially just waiting for the blow up of Jake eliminating James to pop up, because that is what will really be interesting. Moving on to Trevor and Derek, though heartbroken stuff from the previous night, Trevor asks Derek if he can hang out. Given Derek's bow tie, my guess here is that he says no, since he's going on a date with Crystal. Annoyed at the response, and how Derek, in treating him, he decides to walk off just mad. Derek, realizing how mad he seems here, tries to reach out, promising they can hang out later on, but... Trevor was done with the promises and all, so he just walks off, mad at him. Still wondering how this plot will end, because it's hard to tell right now. Mm. Moving into the next scenes, we have the places they need to. Can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, make TikToks for immunity. 
because I am doubting so many people would willingly make a TikTok by a bear. Unless it was required to win the immunity, including jumping off a cliff to make a TikTok? Like... What? We then just see the entire final eight standing, and Gabby's happiness is just so sweet, and it's saving me from the cringe that is half of this trailer. Crystal then explains the challenge of making TikToks, which is to the annoyance of basically everyone, including me. I don't have TikTok for good reasons, I swear. Connor then tries to discuss such a challenge, maybe making a joke out of it, because this challenge feels like a joke. I swear. But Crystal interrupts getting and giving out phones, one for each of the final eight, to record the TikToks. Rule from the beginning of the season being no electronics really is shining bright right now. Also, she does realize they can just look up stuff on the phones, fix their loved ones, etc. Like, nothing wrong with texting loved But my point is, like, there's no reason stopping it. So they're just gonna break that electronic rule and do it anyway if they want it because no one told them they couldn't. Uh, anyways, moving on to Alec and Connor, Connor is trying to figure out how a phone works as Alec tries to discuss the real situation at hand as he tries to dodge it continuously. This feels like a never-ending game of ping pong. Anyway, I have a quick theory what this challenge is going to be done in duos. Think for a second. Rhea is helping Aiden. Her and him are in the same boat, and there's no blackmail left. Ali and Jake are also sticking with one another, which doesn't feel like a bad choice. I mean, we've seen their rivalry. And going by this, the duos for this challenge would be Rhea and Aiden, Ali and Jake, Alec and Connor, and Grit and Gabby. Back to the main trailer though here, Alec fails to do with the apology, I would guess. And it moves to Rhea, where Aiden gives an accurate depiction of how I feel about this challenge. Rhea is probably preparing the phone to record as the two jump off the cliff. It's odd to me that Aiden was so willing to jump off. Is he fully over heights? Which, great for him, but even, because even when it was revealed he was getting over, he wasn't falling over. Again, if he is, great for him, I'm just wondering. Anyway, we move to Rhea telling Aiden to begin to floss, which I thought we left back in the 2016s, but I suppose not. You know, why not revive it for this? Oh my gosh, okay. Then Rhea and Aiden hit the water. I'm guessing Aiden also had to record Rhea doing the floss, oh my gosh, or something like that. As later in the trailer, Connor and Alec are shown swapping places as if Alec is going to record Connor dancing now after he recorded him. Moving past that now, Allie is being forced to do the floss as Jake and her leave the water to move on to the next location. The next scene is a tad confusing to me. Why are Gret and Gabby looking for something? Hmm, maybe there's some challenge advantage, like the one where we have found where, Tr where Trevor was forced to move the ball up the hill and they're looking for it? background, Connor and Alec were also running to the next location. I can't think of anything else that would cause these two to be looking for something though. Hmm. Then Gabby is happily doing the gritty. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. From this one scene, I have so many questions. Who taught her the gritty? Why is she so happy doing the gritty? How did this challenge get approved? Who asked for this? Why did we get some in such an incredible challenge from the Supergirl one that we've downgraded to this? So many questions I'll never get the answers to. Then we get to see Alec trying to do a TikTok dance. This is so gross. I'm just horrified by this challenge. Connor and Alec then swap places. Note that Connor is not walking away from the bear. He's walking towards it. More proof that they both have to do the- Does that mean we're gonna see everyone? No! <laughs> going to Aiden and Rhea. Rhea is probably just annoyed she has to risk her life. The TikTok next to a bear for immunity, and at that point, it ain't worth it. I just- Oh my gosh, okay. Jake and Allie are shown next as Jake records Allie doing the TikTok dance. He shows her as she looks unhappy with this. Given she still has her hair arc, maybe she says she's unhappy with it and she wonders what others will think. But there's no way that wouldn't get Jake so angry there. Unless maybe she was loud while saying that. We see the two hiding behind a rock for a reason. Hmm. Maybe the bear awoke as Jake also makes a hand motion that looks like a bear attack and he's mad at her for waking up the bear. As again, the two hide behind the rock and while this chaos happens, Rhea takes a boat as her and Aiden go off. Aiden looks a tad confused. Maybe he doesn't know one of the TikTok dances, but that seems impossible given how much James and him would probably do dances like that. That seems like something wholesome. <laughs> Whatever it is, he'll eventually figure it out. Uh, Grant and Gabby, along with Alec and Connor, have issues with their boats. 
There could have not been enough fuel in either, but what if it's sabotage? Hoping it's that because that seems entertaining. Do wonder how Gret and Gabby will handle this as it's shown how Alec and Connor did, both waving their arms and trying to move the boat that way. We then get the joy of seeing Aiden doing more TikTok dances. As he gets annoyed with Rhea, Alec, and Connor. Don't know why he would be so annoyed at Connor, but hmm. Would it be because he doesn't know what the internet is? But like, why would he? Whatever. Alec then makes a remark towards him, and honestly now, I'm just living for an Aiden and Alec bickering rivalry. That just seems so darn funny. And anyway, they finish their TikTok <laughs> as Gabby and Gret show up to do theirs. The final he showcases Gret doing some TikTok dances as well. Why? Just, just, just why? And that concludes the trailer analysis. With this section finished, the final section of the video can begin the conclusion. The things we do for money. This episode's challenge makes me fear the rest of the episode, and not in a good way. Doesn't help that many people have warned me to mentally prepare for this episode. Also, not in a good way. Part of me is still hopeful, though, that maybe it'll be good. Regardless, what are your thoughts? I would like to read in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day slash night. Until next time!